What's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday. You know it's Taco Tuesday. And speaking of Taco Tuesday, if you're not easily offended, go to my Instagram or my Twitter account and take a look at the latest posts of merchandise that has been coming out. You'll get a kick out of it. Uh, other than that, like I was saying, it's our weekly reset in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to find out how Sargon is going to anger us today, probably with another ship part. And then we're going to find out what we've got in store for the week. What have we got to attack? What do we get as far as ore? I'm Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this. All right, so as is our usual, we're going to come over to Sargon and see what he has in his shop. And, of course, he has the Godlings, which is a crew theme, for 80 ore. And then he has the Celestial Legs, which is part of the Celestial Suit set. It's actually pretty cool. 25% assassin damage, 40% movement speed while crouching. And if you have the entire set, gain 50% of an adrenaline segment with assassin abilities. If you don't know what that looks like fully, it makes you almost look like a ghost. It's pretty amazing looking, but it's up to you whether or not you want to spend your ore on either of these or just use the Olympian gifts. Now, looking over, we have the Traveler's Garments. No, not part of the Northern Traveler set, part of just... A traveler set so 24% assassin damage 10% all damage 50% crit damage that's actually pretty good for 40 or that's an outstanding start to an assassin build if you've got that then looking over patched bandit greaves 24% hunter damage 20% damage with bow charge shot 20% crit chance while low health that is also a decent piece to get Especially if you plan on being low health as part of the build. You got to make sure that you're not super squishy, but squishy enough to be low health. So this one is also 40 ore. Now, we'll go take a look at what we've got on the bounty board. And it looks like it's a bounty on a pirate ship. The Black Wind. So we'll take that. And then, let's see, that is the daily Red Fire. This is our other weekly. Spartans have nothing in their heads, so an arrow might not kill them. You can still try, but burn the others. Okay, I have a feeling that that's like an arrow slash torch thing. So let's take a look. All right, so yeah, it is kill Spartan soldiers with spears, kill Spartan soldiers with fire, kill Spartan soldiers with headshots. So if you do it with a headshot, it has to be like a clean headshot. It can't be with fire. I, I mean, you could try it. You're probably better off with spears that have fire, but the fire, mm, that's going to be kind of tough. The fire is going to have to burn the soldier rather than the spear damaging them. Anyway, this could be done easily inside of the arena. You go and you just fight the Spartan League or the Spartan series and you could just take that out real, real, real quick. All right. Now, the bounty on the pirate ship. This is the Black Wind. Let's take a look at what this thing is going to look like because I've already got it. Let's see. Flying Icaros, Delos, Artemis, and Gloria of the Law, Hecate's Grace, Keto's Wrath. Uh... Wait, was that it? No, of course it wasn't. Oh, there it is, the Black Wind. So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have this funky little look like that. You're going to have that griffin on it color scheme is decent enough but that's what it's going to look like so let's see where exactly is this thing looks like it's going to be in the southeast all right so let me get close to it as usual and then i'll bring you guys in when i'm right on top of it
so here we are pulling up on it and as usual it's going to be surrounded by a bunch of pirate ships the pirate ships themselves consider it a pirate ship but it is not a pirate ship for all intents and purposes if you ever went to do any sort of bounty board thing where you're going to go and basically attack pirate ships if it says like attack five pirate ships or something you could attack these two pirate ships and they'll count but the other ship will not count as a pirate ship it's kind of crazy it won't count as anything else either so if it's spartan it won't count as a spartan ship if it is athenian it won't count as that either it for some reason counts as a different sort of ship a pirate ship that is not a ship which is kind of wild so we're gonna take this sucker out as quickly as possible Well, it's a mercenary coming to attack me too. It looks like something from Penn State. These things are terrible though because they'll get right in the way of everything. So you're going to have to take that out too if it's in your way. Or the other thing you could do is pay the bounty, but I'm not paying nothing. This guy is dead. Find a weak point, ram that. There we go. So that's the mercenary that we took out. That's not even this. Right, let's try to take it out at the weak point. There it is. And what I like to do is I like to ram the ship because I feel that you get the most resources out of it. And because I've already gotten this sale, I'm just going to get an epic piece of equipment. I have 44 ore. Now, the reason I have 44 ore is because I always tell you guys I'm the top tier mercenary in my game, at least. So what ends up happening is I obtain 44 ore rather than 40 ore. Same thing with the other weekly. And then when I go and do the dailies it'll give me 11 ore rather than 10 ore so here's the sale once again that's what it looks like it really shouldn't be too hard to like take that thing out especially at this point of the game but for some of you who are just starting out it it may be a little bit difficult just make sure that you upgrade all of your ship stuff as soon as possible don't just pay attention to your leveling pay attention to your ship as well the ship should grow with you otherwise you're going to have all kinds of problems when you get to the sea you're not going to be able to be a lot of these ships especially anybody who did any of the cheats from like level one by the time you get to 99 all the other ships are 99 and your ship is still basically level one anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps the channel out an awful lot as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and until the next one, take care.